Hi there. Welcome to the Chauvin's Nest. My name is Sandra and I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is all about taking some ugly old wood pieces and making them new. So I have this old wood canister box. It has a lid too. I'm just going to use some black chalk paint and give it a couple of coats and make it brand new. This is my favorite paintbrush to use now. It's a Stallmaster pointed sash. I have them available on my Amazon storefront. And if you don't have a really good brush that gives you superior coverage and super easy cleanup, these are the ones you want to get. They are amazing. The paint slides right off just with some warm water. And it doesn't matter what paint it is. I've used this with latex paint, with chalk paint, with mineral paint. You name it, I have used this brush and it is still in pristine condition since the first day I bought it. I decided to break out my IOD stamps. These are the crockery stamps and I'm using one of the marmalade ones. This is the largest one that I have and I thought it would look great in the center. I'm using some white ink that I got at Michael's so it's not expensive ink at all. You just have to make sure that you clean your stamp off really well as soon as you're done so nothing dries on because otherwise you will lose some of the details. I've always left my stamps on their backing and then I just use that and I've cut it out. I've got enough space around that I can pick it up really easily and this is just a solution that has worked for me all along. So what you want to do with your stamp now is just make sure it doesn't move. Hold on to it really steadily with one hand and then press with the other hand and then everything will just adhere to the paint really well. I also have a leaf stamp that I'm going to use just in the four corners and I do have that mounted on a glass block and these I believe just came from either a dollar store or they came from Amazon and I have a bunch of different stamps available on my Amazon storefront if you want to take a look there if you're looking for something like this I don't have the crockery stamps that is something that's not available on Amazon but you can get things that look really similar to pretend that they are are. So I'm just going to put one of these leaves in each of the four corners and that's going to be it for this project. I am going to seal it once the ink is completely dry. I'm going to let it cure probably overnight and then I'll give it a coat of sealer and I'm just going to clean up that brown lid and stick that on top. I think it looks perfect. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to click on my video. If you like what you see, I'd love it if you could hit that red subscribe button and stick around a while. For those of you who have been following me for a really long time, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much. This bamboo tray I have had, it seems like forever, and I've always meant to do something with it, but I just never got around to it. It's also going to get a couple of coats of black chalk paint. I'm going to be putting some feet on the bottom of the tray, but there's a little lip there and that kind of hides the majority of the foot. I wouldn't say the majority, but it hides some of it and I wanted it to be really prominent. So I'm taking these little pieces of wood that are just little scraps that I had left over. They're about a quarter of an inch thick and I'm going to put one in each of the corners using weld bond glue and hot glue. And that's just going to make sure that it sticks really, really well. The wood to wood is amazing you're never going to be able to get these little pieces of wood off. Once I finished with those little squares, I decided now's the time to paint the bottom of the tray. I'm going to be leaving those little squares their wood color though, because when I glue on my little feet, you can see them up at the top of the screen next to my jar of paint. I want there to be a wood to wood contact. I'm just going to do one coat on the bottom and just make sure that I fill in the cracks as best as possible. This pattern is really neat, but it was really a pain to paint because I had to make sure that I just pushed that brush into all of those little cracks and crevices and 
Anyway, I'm just so glad I finally did this project, but now I realize why I waited so long to do it. I think it would have been much easier to spray paint this, but with it being so cold up here in Ontario, Canada, there was no way I was going outside to do any spray painting. Now it's time to put the little feet on. I'm using the weld bond glue again and some hot glue. And I'm gonna make sure that the foot doesn't go past the edges of each corner. I don't want it sticking out too far. So I'm just gonna line it up as best I can and just use my fingers to kind of figure out where it needs to be. I'll do the same thing on all four corners. And then I'm gonna take a tiny little paintbrush and just paint everything that is sticking out from that little piece of wood, I'll paint that black just so it blends in better. To add a little bit more visual interest, I'm going to take some of the Dollar Tree's nautical rope and I'm going to wrap it around the top part of the handle on both sides. Normally what I do to the end of the rope is I'll take a little bit of hot glue and press it on and I'm just using this little silicone spatula just to make sure that all of the ends are squished together really well. Then I'm going to start by gluing that bottom piece right on the underside of the handle and then I'll start wrapping it all the way around. Once I got about halfway around, I added a little bit more hot glue into the center just to make sure that it would all stay in place. But I am pulling it quite snugly because I don't want there to be a too small of a gap for the handle so you can, can't put your fingers in. So I'm just going to be snugging it up to each other really tightly and then add some hot glue at the very end as well to hold the end in place. These are the only two projects I have for you today. I have been sick for the last two weeks and I was sick right through the Christmas holidays. It hit me like a ton of bricks and I'm still trying to get through it. I found enough strength to be able to create these two projects for you. I'm hoping that I'm going to have a lot more for you in the next couple of weeks. So please be patient with me and I will be back hopefully up to snuff really soon. To tie you over until I'm back to full form, here's another couple of videos that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.